So, you want to do a serious deck now? Sure. Yes! Aha! Like, you're going to play elves? <laughs> I, I have a, a slightly more serious deck than that. That's... Mono white? Yes, I'm going to run the mono white deck. Sleeves have been updated. I don't know if this is quite a level up, but I think they're pretty they're pretty nice. Robot Unicorn Attack. Man, I love that game. I'm pretty sure let me check the sideboard. It's faster than going through the main board. I'm pretty oh, sure I've see the one of Might of Oaks I got just because of the art. Wow. Death Squirrel. Suddenly she couldn't see the acorns for the trees. And I'm pretty sure Ron Spencer yeah, Ron Spencer did both of these. Huh. So Ron Spencer exactly is a cool. squirrel savant. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. Look at you. Look at you, you dumb girl. All right, there you are, my friend. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, this is it's it's the main board. This is the main board. Now, the changes about which I spoke to you, I have uh, not made them. So it is the deck that I brought to the PPTQ. Okay. And honestly, I'm strongly tempted to throw in the tournament report just at the end of this video. Um, just get the game in, and then if you want to stick around, by all means. There's probably an annotation around somewhere. Uh, right up. I'm bad at this. Right up there. There's the annotation. Um, to skip you straight over into the, uh, the parts that I filmed while I was over there. But the reason that that isn't terribly great is because, unfortunately, I didn't get as many interviews with, the, with my fellow players as I would have liked. Um, I was, it, the moments that I recorded were very brief. I didn't remember instances of uh, misplays as well as I would have liked. But I can tell you with 100% certainty that it is not entirely the deck's fault. Granted, there are some issues that I have with the deck the way that it's currently constructed, but two of those I don't want to say matches, but two of the games were lost due to, if not strict <laughs> misplays, they weren't strict misplays, but very close to them. <laughs> um, misplays nonetheless. Um, and that's just lack of experience with the deck. I'll, I'll get better with the strategy. Uh, it's a deck that can 4-0 a daily. That's not exactly winning the Pro Tour or World Cup, but or World Magic, you know. It's definitely a start. It's a start. Uh, I know that it can perform better than I've been doing it. And one of the instances was, uh, I, it was a sideboarded game, so I had in uh, Nevermore, and I went to Idyllic Tutor for Leyline of Sanctity instead of Nevermore. The reasoning was the same. I was fighting against Liliana of the Veil, vale. and indeed, after I cast the Leyline, he cast Liliana of the Veil. Vale. The problem is that the discard, even without being able to edict my creatures and, and ultimate, the discard was enough to make me lose the game. Hmm. Yeah, I lost wow. two sphere effects and a land, I think, from it. And that was enough to set me pretty far back. It was also enough to turn his Tarmogoyf into a 5-6, and he had the mana to pay for just one ghostly prison. Uh, so, what I should have done there is I did a tutor for Nevermore. It's cheaper, I could have played another spell that turn, and uh, on top of that, it would have just stopped Luliana entirely. Uh, the reason I went for Leyline is because he still had hand attack in the deck, and I thought maybe that's worth it, because I, I shut down more than just Lily. The problem is I didn't actually shut down Lily. <laughs> All right, let's go to six here. I'll take that. All right, eight. I would like to be on the play. And then another game was when I reset the game with Karn. Uh, this was a misplay because I was rushing to try to win the game instead of go to a draw because we were about to go to time. Let's see, that is seven. And I just I reset the game with too little under Karn. I'm lost as a result. Yeah, me too. Um, I think this is a hand that I can keep. <coughs> yeah, I think I can keep this too. Go. Without knowing what he's on. I'll play a Mystery Forest and pass. This is not what I thought it was. Okay. In that case, this card might do actual nothing. I still have to keep Leyline in the main board against combo decks. Um, 
but sometimes it just sometimes it sits on the board and does nothing but makes fears better. I will get the murmuring boss. Ah, okay. Okay then. I think I see what you're on about. There you are, my friend. Story circle. Okay. I'm gonna name Green. Pass turn. Fetch. Yes. This one's gonna be the only match I was necessarily proud of when I went to the PPTQ was an Esper Geist list that I beat. Uh, because that one, we went to two games, we finished in like the last five minutes. Uh, so if we had gone to game three, there's no way that it would have resolved in time. Um, it was just very intense the whole time. I ended up outvaluing uh, Sphinx's revelation off just scrying sheets. Um, well, outvaluing on card draw, if not life. Can I get a planes? Yes. Very well. And Taking the one. Or yeah, tapping for green. Just, just for green. Okay. And I'll play Doran. Hi, Doran. Pass turn. So what's it that they print story circle in, in modern? I'm tempted to say 10th edition, but I wouldn't swear by it. Somewhere from 8th to 10th. Um, it was definitely somewhere in there. I like the Mercadian Mask one, just personally. That I see uh, nice. Chimano. Yeah. You are absolutely correct. Let me think for just a quick second. Wait a minute. Let's do this in order. Nykthos. Mm. Now let's do it. Uh, four mana. Gonna double up on my Ley Lines of Sanctity. And then I'm going to pass the turn. Uh, the next time a source of, in this case, green, okay. would deal damage, I can pay white. That's one disadvantage it has over regular circles. I have to pay white instead of colorless. Instead of any color. Oh, I will swing for five. Stop it. Alright. Um, the Godless Shrine, take two. Okay. Let's see, it's not Siege Obliterator. Rhino. It's Siege Rhino. Drain for three? Yes. Eighteen. And that is an opponent, right? Not target opponent? Each opponent. Each opponent. Okay. Your turn. Good. Good, 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 good. Siege Rhino. Hey, buddy. scrying sheets. Now what I did when I was at the tournament is I would set up what I called scrying packets, which is scrying sheet and two lands, one of which is snow, but I don't think I need to do that quite yet. That's when we get in the later game. Just makes it a lot easier, a lot quicker and easier. Are we okay? Okay, we are. Just making sure. <sighs> Generate six mana. Spend five of it on a sphere of safety. I think I'm over pronouncing that sphere of safety. Anyway, there's one floating. We'll spend the one and an extra on a wall of omens. Then I'll draw a card and pass the turn. 
on tap. So I have to pay a lot of mana. You have to pay four mana. Wall of Omens is not an enchantment, sadly. It's one of the best cards in the deck, but sadly it's not an enchantment. It's one reason why the burn match is actually doable. Um, I'd say it's maybe one of my best matchups. I mean, main board, wall of omen, story circle, ley line of sanctity, and sphere of safety. I'll bet it's my best match. All right, drain me for another four. Yep. All right. Well, unless we start splinter twinning sage rhinos, I'm not as worried as I maybe should be. And. Play Temple Garden. Yes. Faster. Draw a card. What do you have one on green? Abrupt Decay is a card. Uh, that's eight mana. Story circle on green again. Story circle on black. Okay. Two mana still floating. Ley line of sanctity, numero tres. You have to pay seven mana in order to attack. Pass turn. Birds. That's a start. And Misty Rainforest. Alright, that's something. No doubt. Then. I think I'll pass the turn. Right? Just regular draw. Drop the card. That's important. Important part of the strategy. The technical term is a shit ton of mana. Ghostly Prison. Mm. Turn. I turn will go to 20. Yes. 10 mana to attack. No fetch. So get another black source. The one game that I won against oh, an Abzim deck, this is basically how it went. In the other two games, he rushed out Liliana and Tarmogoyf, and there wasn't as much I could do about it. He didn't care about his hand as much as I do. Yeah, and I paid for it. Word, word on the street is Liliana's a good card. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wish I still had one. Oh, man. When did you trade it away? When Standard, like, when it was in Standard? No, it was, uh, it was before... Treasure Cruise got banned. Gotcha. Okay, I say trade. I don't know if you traded or sold or no, I did. I did trade. Okay. Draw. I wish I had sold it. Well, yeah. this is something. Mm -hmm. Okay. See you right now. <laughs> yes! 11. Put you to 23? If I may? Sure. Uh, yeah, I'll be done. Alright. Upkeep. Draw. Pass turn. Forced. 
Mm-hmm. I'll pass. Draw. Shit ton. Okay, seriously. Seven. What about Emrakul? Why don't you just play an Emrakul? I, I have been strongly considering that. Um, the idea is that without Nykthos, it takes an awful long time to get to Emrakul. By the way, that's uh, 10 still floating. I'll go to 8 for Nyx Fleece Ram. But it, it helps me against like rogue decks like Mel. Um, it is uncounterable, so I don't have to worry about that in the control match. But I only have two Nick, uh, Nick those trying to Nicks. Well, two in the deck, three total. I could put a third in. Um, you think it's worth it? How, about, how often do you get board states like this? Um, well, when I was playing against Junk, Abzan, uh, this happened in one of our three games. If there's not a Liliana that drops, I think this can happen a lot more frequently. Uh, the deck that this, the decks that this is built to beat are Burn and Twin. Absin is like is a close third, and then I I lose to Affinity as I found out. Um, oh, by the way, past turn. Sorry, um, I lose to Affinity. Merfolk gave me a hard time. Uh, counter spells and creature, you know, they they kill me quickly enough. Um, although apparently it depends on the build, I didn't realize that. Ooze pass. Okay, good thing we have two on green. <coughs> upkeep, go to 12, still an upkeep. Just draw. It happens. Pass turn. So scrying sheets. Can't you activate that at any time? This? Oh, absolutely. Draw. Oh, Hark, your turn. End of turn. Scry. It's snow. Add it to hand. Upkeep, scry, draw, upkeep. Still, <laughs> I haven't drawn yet. All right, so we're going to thirteen. Okay. Need to remember to put that card back. Make a ton of mana. Ghostly prison again. Pass turn. Tap, draw. So you draw number four. <laughs> okay, I'm at ten. And I'll pass. Uh, wait. Let okay, me... okay. Take your time. Next right. step, actually, something I should probably do. Huh. Play Murderer's Cut on Nyx Fleece Ram. So you'll take one? Yep. Okay. Nyx Fleece is dead. Uh, pass turn. Upkeep. Scry. Draw. Pass turn. Internal exile. Nix Lee Stream. Gain one. Draw. Downside to using this deck. You better go to the bathroom first. Your turn. Upkeep, go to 11, upkeep, scry, draw, float a ton of mana, draw a card, mm -hmm. pass turn, and tap, draw. Oh, 
spell skill. Okay. Pass turn. I'm trying to figure out what that would play against here. I guess it's, I'll find something. Um, so I'm at 11. Upkeep, go to 12. Upkeep, scry. It's snow. Add it to hand. Draw. Draw one. Make another scrying packet. And hopefully this is where things get ridiculous. Pass turn. Okay. Now it's just the hunt for the win condition. Unswab teeth. And he can't. Pass turn. Scry. End of turn. It's snow. Add it to hand. Upkeep. Go to 13. Scry. Draw the damn card. Make a shit ton of mana. Leyline number four, Maelstrom Pulse. Do it. <laughs> um, pass turn. Draw. Yes. Forest. Pass turn. Scry. Hit snow. Add it to hand. Untap. Scry. Go to 14, draw the card. Story circle, also on black. So two on green, two on black. Pass turn. Draw. Play Sword of Fire and Ice. That's the thing. And I'll equip it to which siege right now? Siege right now. <laughs> Number two. Okay. Pass turn. Scry. It's snow. <coughs> Untap. Upkeep. Scry. It's snow. Uh, we're gonna go to fifteen. Scry. It's snow. Draw. Make another scrying packet. Pass turn. On top. Draw. So how much mana do I have to pay to attack you? Thirty. Thirty. All right. That's all. Um, pass turn. Scry. <coughs> Untap. Sixteen. Draw the card. Nick those for a bajillion. Wall of omens. In response to the trigger, scry. Draw the card. Luminarity Ascension. Play land. Luminarity um, Ascension. Four counters. Okay. Finally, have a win condition that you're about to erupt again. Um, pass turn. Draw. Pass turn. Scry, it's snow, scry, untap, and this is why I go to time. Upkeep, go to 17, draw a card. Whee! Next place, Ram. Pass turn. Draw. What sage rhinos? Pass turn. Scry. Untap, upkeep, go to 19. Draw the card. Okay. Should be on two. 
Should be on one, I think. I cast it last turn, didn't I? No, I cast Nick's Place for him. Okay. No blaming alcohol. So here's what here's I'm, I'm going to have two dice on there. Uh, I'm remembering the Nick's Place because I'm seeing my life counter. If I play a D6, I'll remember the Luminor. Or better yet, I should play a D4 on there. That's even harder to forget. But we'll not we'll not count that. So during what on what stage are we now? Um, end of my turn. It's still end of your turn. We haven't or passed. Did you? I think you untapped actually. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah, if it were end of your turn, I'm either about to scry or I've already scryed, and I haven't tapped land yet, so... So... It, let's see, but I don't remember what that card is. I have enough mana, I think I can afford a scry again. Oh, maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't scry. Huh. Anyway, that one's snow. That one's snow. Okay, so that was upkeep. Uh, draw the card. Now we have a bit of an issue. Okay, yeah, if that was upkeep, and if I hadn't already adjust, I think I just adjusted from 17 to 19. I think that's why. Okay. Um, make a shit ton of mana. Luminarch Ascension, just in case you abrupt decay the one. Pass turn. Uh, Meanwhile, I go to the handy dandy dice bag. So if I pass, will that be on three? Uh, no, it's going to be on one. I'm not. I'm not taking that back. Oh. Okay. I need to. I need to learn from that. Ah, there you are. A little bit easier to remember. All right. So are you passing? Yeah. And that's shared between the two of them. Okay. okay, so surely, surely, with both of them, we're all right. I'm still trying to figure out if yours is the uh, Jacob Wilson list, roughly, or if it's more like the typical Austin list, uh, playing the meta. I understand Jacob Wilson's was supposed to be better against the... Uh, Let's see, all of my packets are tapped. Better against the typical Obzen deck. So we're going to untap, because that was end of turn. We're going to first go to 21. It's 21, not 1. We're going to scry. We're going to draw the card. Make too much mana, Ghostly Prison, number three, swear to god, if you have Back to Nature main board, <laughs> now, I kid you not, Parceline in a Soul Sisters deck uh, hit me at one of our FNMs. Ooh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um, pass turn. That's really funny. <laughs> yeah. Things I was not expecting. Swamp. Monocolored enchantment only hate. <laughs> Fracturing Gusts, I can forgive. Alright, so we're going to go to two on the Luminardi Ascensions. We're going to scry. It's snow. We're going to scry again. It's snow. Untapping. Scrying. Draw. Go to 23. Draw the card. Board states like this make me want to play Emrakul. But if we don't, if the Nykthos is just another planes, then I have 17 lands, and we'd finally be able to cast Emrakul at 17. Um, I don't know if Emrakul's right. Maybe. How many Maybe. Nykthos do you have? Just two. I have three to my name, so I could replace another planes, I guess. That would still leave me with 26. Lands, uh, seven would be un would be colorless. Well, Nykthos will eventually be colored. And then that leaves me with 15... No? Wait a minute. That is 26, right? 
17, 19, 19. I may be mistaken. I mean, I'll... No, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's right. I think that I, I currently have 20 snow-covered planes. I may be wrong, though. Uh, so making too much. There's a Luminarch Ascension. This one will be two behind. I have played a land. And I will pass the turn. Draw. I will also pass the turn. Move you up to three. Scry it into turn. Untap. Upkeep. 25. Draw the card. Pass the turn. Birds. Hi, birds. So I brought decay on one of the three count ones, and I brought decay on the other. No! Your turn. Oh, you did two. End of turn, scry. It's snow. End of turn, scry. It's snow. End of turn, scry. Untap. Upkeep. Go to 27. Draw the card. I am definitely going to have to discard this turn. Make. Practically infinity mana. Dun dun dun! See, with Martial Coup, this is destroy all your creatures, play enough soldiers to win the game next turn. But honestly, for the same reason that Emrakul might not be sweet, because I have to have Nykthos to make it happen reasonably frequently, mm. Martial Coup is kind of the same way. Without Nykthos, I can still get the Wrath side of it, I won't necessarily get 20 tokens off of it. Uh, but here's here's Karn. Uh, that's a, uh, how many cards do you have in hand? Are you, you're not hell bent. Oh, you're definitely not hell bent. Um, but I'm, I'm sure you're pretty okay with giving me a path to exile or something. Um, but you know what? You still have to pay six to attack. You have eleven. So oh, plus birds. Okay, so you can attack with two creatures. That is a thing. Um, let's see. I will make you exile a card from your hand, and Karn will go to a happy, healthy ten. Yep, <laughs> thought sees. <laughs> Even better. Um, one, let's see. Seven cards in hand. Play a land. Pass turn. Alright, so six to attack if you're attacking Karn. Three ghostly prisons. Oh, excuse me, my yeah, bad. It's, I'm, the, other it's the other way. My apologies. Um, so in that case, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. It's thirty-two to attack Karn. My bad, it's only thirty-two. Uh, sphere of safety is creatures can attack you or a planeswalker you control. You know how uh, cards like show and tell weren't and pernicious deed weren't updated to include like all permanents. They were right. just creatures. Ghostly prison is the same way. It's just when they attack you, not you and planeswalkers you control. So how much man is that again? Thirty two. Thirty two. Yep, that's way too much. I'll pass turn. Scry, untap, upkeep, go to 29, draw a card, Karn shenanigans on you. I have another thought, Cs. Okay. Pretty sure that those were going to be stuck in your hand the whole game, thanks to a, a timely ley line. I had to hope. 
That's what I forgot. Play land. Praise the sun! There you go. And, um... Pass turn. Draw. Only five cards in hand. I'll play a solemn simulacrum. Yes, go and get your land. Planes. I'll play. Uh oh. Scavenging use. Okay. I have no creatures in the yard. Neither do you, I think. Doran. Hi, Doran. Sack legend. Doran. Yeah, legend rule shenanigans. Yep. Doran. Sad Doran. Okay. Scavenging use likes that. Pass turn. Scry. You're kidding me. Untap. Upkeep. Go to 31. Draw. Karn, target me. Nykthos. Praise the sun! He attacks. Alone. I'll block with Saul. Ready to draw a card? Okay. You in, you do indeed. Play that planes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Why do I keep forgetting that? Pass turn. Too many win conditions. <laughs> you kidding me? No. Draw. Alright. Play another Doran. Getting back in the zone. Play a Thrag Tusk. Hi, Thrag Tusk. And. I'll pass. Not forgetting this time. Scry. Untap. Upkeep. Nothing. Just, just going to 33. Draw. Karn, target me. Exile Karn. Tempted to restart the game like this, uh, but with Luminarch Ascension out, why risk it? We've also got Heliod. Who, untapped, gives vigilance to everything except himself. Go figure. Another planes. You know what? Screw it. Um, Praise the sun! I'll block my sea terrain. Okay. It's dead? It has a sword of fire and ice. That's why it isn't dead. Okay. Didn't really lose anything off of that, I guess. Um, yeah, pass turn. Untap. Thou oh. shalt not forget thy trigger. No heart. Especially since he has time to draw into Abrupt Decay. Faster. The longer I give him. No scrying. You could just make a million tokens. I could. I could. Draw. Really? I mean... No, I wouldn't have seen that had you not said it. Isn't that why you have him in the deck? That is. That is why. I'm just not being cognizant enough. Notice I also missed an upkeep trigger. Uh, Cart your helmet? Yep. Karn, target me. I'm tempted to restart. Well, we know how that would end. Um, well, yeah, I mean, you have a pretty sweet game. Pass turn. 
Swear to God, do not forget, do not forget, do not forget. Pass. Four. Now. Nick Thus. Thirteen. Twenty-one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Twenty-eight mana. Thirty-four. Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. Nine. 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Tap 46, make 23, 4, 4 flying angel tokens. Okay, that's good. Okay. I think we can call it there. Okay. Sideboarding? Sure, sure. I think that's called winning despite yourself. <laughs> Heliod for the eh. I thought you had the, uh, where's the proxy guy? The, uh, the alternate, yeah. I do, yeah. Uh, so that actually got me in trouble at the tournament. The head judge came by, and even though I showed the real card underneath it, and said I, I, play, I had the real card in my deck, played it, and then got out the proxy, it didn't, like, get me in trouble, like, you know, disqualification or game loss. Maybe, I mean, not even a warning, he didn't write it on the slip. He just told me, future reference, next time don't do that. And I thought that was uh, okay. I thought that it was as long as that you had, as long as you had the original card in your deck, you could play an altar, not even an altar, unfortunately. It wasn't really an altar. It's a sticker on top of another card, on top of it. And he's correct uh, in saying that that's not how it works. Um, but I didn't know. Okay, you're up. Um, I'll talk to Cole. Let's stay Okay. <coughs> Alright, I'm just gonna pass the turn. Too much, so I will shock myself. Going to 16. <coughs> and pass. I have a Nyx Fleece Ram. Pass time. This deck actually cares whether it goes first or second, or not whether it goes first, whether it wins the first match or, or the first game or not. Unlike most decks, right? I think most decks sideboard the same regardless. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. In terms of sideboarding. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Get... Yeah, that, that's what I meant. <laughs> most pilots. <laughs> yeah. Aaron Vosk. Healing. Doran. There be Doran. Hi, be Doran. Okay. Bastion. I'll keep. Go to 21, not 1. Draw a card. So, this awkward situation where Doran and Nixfleece Ram kill each other. Yeah. <laughs> huh. Idyllic tutor? Mm-hmm. Cards in hand? Four. Here we are. 
Praise the sun! That's not going to get old. Tell your own friend. After which I pass the turn. I'm dead. Mm -hmm. Draw. I will attack you for five. I will block for five. Okay. Trade Z's. Play Marsh Flats. I'll play Inquisition. Your legal targets. Okay, so here are your illegal targets. Scrying Sheets, Snow-Covered Plains, Healy God, Leyline, and Sphere of Safety. Which means that your one you can hit is Path to Exile. I guess Congratulations! And, um... Play this here, Scavenging Ooze. Okay. Last turn. I'll go ahead and fetch. Sure. And I'm actually at 21, ignore, ignore that. Yeah, since I'm no longer gaining life, let me just set it to the way it's supposed to be. Yeah, not like that. Meeny, meeny, miny, yeah, we'll just get this. Anyway, draw the card. Hmm. Praise the sun! Pass turn. End turn. Uh, end of turn. Okay. Exile. Exile your guy. Okay. Next to frame is gone, you gain one life, and then add a counter to the media prom. Oh, okay. no! Okay, well this one's shiny enough. Yeah, he's got enough for swag. <laughs> um, I'll take him. you for five. Take six. Six? Why am I? Um, no. Okay, just five? Gotcha. I asked because you have a door in the yard. Yeah, I need to use my mana, unfortunately. Mm. Okay. X is the number of enchantments you control? That's correct. Okay. Which one are you getting? Okay, forest. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, Sphere of Safety. Sphere of Safety. Pass turn. Two to attack per creature. Not like you give a shit. At this point. Technical turn there. On top. Dorn. Pay two for him. Two for him. Let's see. You have me at ten. Pass turn. Cannot block. Sad day. Feeling on upkeep. No? Okay. Line. Okay. Three to attack per creature. Pass turn. And Heal God is still not up, so I still don't have a blocker, damn it. Tap. Draw. No creatures in my yard. So. Just Path and Tutor.
guess it's time to pay. Okay. Obviously that one gets to attack. We pay for both. Oh, we're paying for both. Yep. That's sexy. Path. Got the path. Taking two, going to eight. Um, your turn. Nothing into turn. Draw that card. Oh. Ooh, I mean, well, I'm about to play it anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Play line of praise the sun. He's active. He's, he is. More ha ha. Yeah, I guess you go back. Um, let's see. Do I go on the offensive here? Or do I leave the blocker back? I don't know that you would have kept Path to Exile on the list. Against Luminarch Ascension, it doesn't do much. Against Karn, it does nothing. Actual nothing. Um, Heliod's the only reason you might have left it in. And you did see Heliod. You know Heliod's in there. You know from uh, our conversations earlier, but even just from the game. So do you leave Path in there just <coughs> for Heliod or hitting your own creatures for lands? I guess that's possible. Hmm. Let's see, no other creatures in the yard right now. So you can swing for, let's see, I'm seeing seven. You hit a land, you swing for four next turn. I'm swinging for five. Let's see, I don't know. I think I play it safe here, I'm at eight. Past turn. Okay. It'd be nice if he I gave himself in destruct or vigilance, but no. He's so selfless. Ah, ping six. Okay, five, six. Grave Titan, that's a card that you play. Yes, yeah. Um, upkeep. Gonna scry. Gonna draw. Idyllic Tutor? Mm -hmm. We're going and getting a Spear of Safety, adding it to hand, and we're going to pass the turn after that. Sorry, sorry, Scoos. My bad, my B. Is that showing up? Yeah, it's not far from the top, but it's there. Tutor path, path tutor. Hmm. Can only take him with one guy right now. That's correct. Four and attacking the soul. You really want that card draw. It would be nice. Uh, yeah, we're gonna block here. Get that card draw in. Okay, play birds. Hi, birds. And uh, we'll pass the turn. Hmm. Yeah, number 
to. So 10 mana to attack. A little ways away from that. And so, it doesn't really matter if I go on the offensive here because Grave Titan happens to have 6 toughness. Did I just knock the camera off? I guess I did. Oopsies. Um, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Might as well leave a blocker back just in case. I'm seeing one, two, six, eight. Okay, so I don't really have to worry just yet, but there's still no point. And so, I'll pass the turn. End of turn, I'll eat my solemn. Yep. Go up to 14. The RB counters. Do you do anything different between the red and the black dice? Not usually. Okay. Just whichever one's in reach? Mm -hmm. Okay. Whichever one I feel like. Gotcha. I always wondered if it was like one was positive, one was negative, or something. Like one is plus one plus one, and the other is just whatever. There's always a. Isn't <coughs> Okay. I'll pass the I may be mistaken, but is the door in play there incorrect? Why is because that? it makes Heliod six, and now. It can power past any of your creatures? I don't think so. Okay, upkeep. Yeah, it may not be. I'm gonna scry here. I'm gonna draw the card. Swing six. Block with a zombie. Yep. Okay. <laughs> it's so removed from the game. Hmm. Story Circle. On... Hmm... Let's go with... Black. Pass turn. Play Siege Rhino. Hi Siege Rhino. You have me at five. Seventeen. Yes. Pass. Scry. <coughs> it's snow. Mm -hmm. Draw. We'll praise the sun. Make a bunch. No, that's not. How about sure, why not? Let's see, I actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five left, Ley Line of Sanctity. We're gonna make a dude, a dude, or Heliod, Heligai, whatever. I do not have cleric enchantment tokens. So instead, I'm going to use Elf Warrior tokens. They're totally the same. Um, that's, that's all. Uh, let's see. And now we swing with Heliod and swing six. A block. Okay. That's good. I'll pass the turn to you. This is the red zone. Play a play a sea dragon. Okay. Go to twenty. Go to two. I Pass swear to God. I swear to God. I swear to Heliod. I swear my parents see that. Okay, cards in hand. Three. Make 10 mana there. 11. 11 mana.
Heliod swings for six. By itself? By himself? Block the door. Okay. Yeah, I, I guess that one actually does hit the bend. Hmm. <coughs> I don't think you're consequential enough. Pass turn. Eternal exile. Mandalorian. Yes. Okay. Going up to 21. Alright, show me that seizure right now. Let's see if we can find it. Remember the hidden ability of Siege Rhino is heard? They're always within like a few cards of each other? Yeah, that's what I heard. Ah! I okay. haven't seen it yet. Alright. Make 11, make sure that's right, 11, 14, <coughs> 16, make 4 dudes. Again, we make 11. Mm -hmm. Spend four of it on Kaka Card, who I guess is not in the red zone. He's over here, minding his own business. Uh, going to three by exiling a Grave Titan. Oh dear. Spending the other four on an Elf Warrior that cannot attack this, uh, this map. This combat. Hmm. I'm going to swing 15 at you. There are two ones. I'll block two of them. Okay. Uh, six, you'll seven, go to eight, three, nine, you'll 10, take 11. Go to 10. Alright. And then I'll pass the turn. Alright, let's find that top deck Siege right now. Let's do it! Oh my goodness! That last shuffle actually didn't change the top of your deck, I just realized. Nope. Oh. I think we might have one more turn. Okay. Hi, Noble. Noble. Doran. And... Past turn. End of turn, make another dude. Go back to five. I think that was a missed play. I think the correct move there is to scry, just in case. Karn is going to finish himself off by exiling Doran. I'll 
again swing 15 at you. So block, block. I agree. Block. Let three through. All right. So you take six. Good four. And these will go down to three tokens left. Main two. Draw that siege rhino. Draw that siege rhino. Can you do it? Can you do it? turn make We're still at 11 here All right, 12 okay so I can make four more dudes okay Doran. hi Doran I'll pass make four more dudes scry Draw. Alright. Swing 13 at you. He's 6 and these are all 1. Block. Block, block, block. I'll rock the kid one. Okay. So, to be clear, these will go down to 3. Okay, so first they go to six, mm -hmm. three get blocked, and so you're going to go to one here. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. One health. That's a thing. Um, story circle on, I think I named black already, so I'm going to name green on this one. Just to get both my bases covered. Pass turn, doesn't matter because Siege Rhino off the top. Do it, do it, it's do uh, it, do uh, it. Two. Ah, well, okay. One, two. Do one, it, do it. Okay. No. Um. Fetch and shock, do it. <laughs> no. Well, yeah, I think I'm dead. Okay. That's Slot C's in hand? Yeah. Okay. Good games. Oh, good games to you too, man. Thank you. Um, Karn. Uh, so, the way that this deck is going to be changed, almost invariably, yeah, no, it, it will be changed, is Karn is getting cut, mm -hmm. probably for two martial coups. We still haven't figured that out quite, quite yet. I'm thinking that Elspeth's, uh, Elspeth's son's champion could work here, but again, it suffers from being a planeswalker. <coughs> so, Story Circle doesn't protect it, Ghostly Prison doesn't protect it. Uh, if the I... opponent knows that, and granted, not all my, all my opponents knew that at the time, th then they can actually use that to their advantage. Um, How many Heliots do you run? Just the one, actually. I think he's really good in that deck. There are some matches where I will actually side out, like in this case, I sided out all my Luminarch Ascensions. All four of them. Because of Abrupt Decay? Because of Abrupt Decay, and I sighted in three Idyllic Tutors and Nevermore. Hmm. And the idea is to tutor for Heliod as my one win condition. Because I'm assuming, not always correctly, uh, apparently, because in playtesting, one of my opponents, for whatever reason, he left his path in. But I'm assuming that you're taking out path. Yeah. Yeah, and so Heliod only cares really about path in this format. And so... I, need, like to I don't even game. have path main. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Um, so that's that's why I did that. Uh, cited three idyllic tutor and a nevermore. Nevermore would normally name Liliana. Uh, if I were playing this as a real game, like it, assuming that you had Liliana, I would still play nevermore name naming Liliana. Otherwise, I'm probably naming Maelstrom Pulse. If you hit my sphere of safety with Maelstrom Pulse, my planeswalkers are completely vulnerable. So, uh, what goes in that lat in the Karn slots? Well, Martial Coup could go in. It's a Wrath effect that's one-sided, and with Nykthos, it basically wins me the game next turn. Or should. 
uh, that may be worth it, maybe not. Uh, even without Nykthos, I can generally get the Wrath in, it's just whether or not that will be enough. Um, I could try Elspeth's son's champion. She protects herself, but she also suffers from being a Planeswalker. She, her, uh, her minus three does not affect me in the least. If I already have a bunch of angels out, yes, but if I already have a bunch of angels out, why haven't I won yet? Why do I need Elspeth? Um, and then the emblem just makes the soldiers better. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really care so much about the emblem. It's, it's basically just she really, really protects herself, and she can destroy things that are like Platinum Kills Angel. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kills M. Rockul, for Christ's sake. Uh, yeah, that's a thing. She doesn't target. And she's a permanent, not a spell. Alright, so where's the lot of you? I think I put you... Yes, I did. Right back in here. There are the four Luminardi Ascensions. I'm thinking of getting an altar. Um, when I say yeah. Luminardi Ascension, it's a reference to the whole like MLG YouTube fad, where you find triangles and everything, and you oh, replace yeah. them with the, the... There's a triangle right there. There we... Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm on about. And so where he has, where uh, she has the loop there, I'm going to make that the eye. Okay. Well, I'm not going to make it someone else too. I have the artistic ability of a of a quadriplegic rat, but you know I'm going to get someone else to do it for me. Um, other other considerations. I don't think that this is great, but I'm considering considering um, Gideon Champion uh, of Justice. I believe is his name, mm -hmm. something like that. And the reason is because, although his two abilities are pretty worthless, um, is he the one that becomes indestructible or prevents all damage? I don't He's quite remember. Gideon Champion. I think it's both. Oh, maybe it is both. Uh, so he could be a creature that just beats face every turn, but that's a little better than Heliod, and Heliod can at least make tokens. Uh, what I care about with Champion of Justice is that if I'm playing against a deck that has creatures, then eventually I can get him to ult, and his ult is a is upheaval on steroids. Well, it's exile all permanent. It's exile all permanent. So it's what you do permanent. first is you float all your mana, all 50 million of it in this deck, then you exile all other permanents, and using your floating mana, start playing effects like I'll play a Heliod and a Sphere and a Story Circle and a Luminarch Ascension. Go. Uh, it's it's a, that's why upheaval is so good. Yeah. I feel like you don't want to get rid of your all your enchantments, though. Like, no, 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 if no. If you've got the sphere of safety, then well, but if I've got the game them. locked, um, it's kind of like a Karn reset. It it does feel a, a good bit like a Karn reset. Uh, the difference being that Gideon's a little cheaper <coughs> to get. Doesn't even pre actually. The more I think about it, the worse that sounds. Calling it a Karn reset. Ugh. Um. Upheaval is a good card, but... Yeah, but and he's not upheaval. He's not, he's not quite upheaval. You can't replay all the stuff you had. No, you can't replay all the stuff you had, that is true. You'd have to, work, you'd have to let your hand build for a little bit before you did that. Uh, the idea, though, is that you don't have to float, you don't have to pay for the upheaval, too. You just, when it comes to your turn, true. tap everything. Um, but I also don't have anything that basically... I don't have a Psychotog, like with upheaval, uh, upheaval then Psychotog and then kill them on the next turn. I don't have anything like that. Mm -hmm. So maybe not Gideon, and plus if I'm playing against a deck like Storm, or uh, Jeskai Flash, they just don't care. They don't have creatures. Yeah. They're probably not plus for a while. So maybe not Gideon Champion. Um, we've talked about Elspeth. We've talked about Martial Coup. Uh, Sigil of the Empty Throne seems kind of slow. Mm -hmm. Luminarch Ascension and even uh, Heliod. They'll make quite a few tokens. Sigil is probably going to be one a turn. Yeah. That just and it's five mana. That seems rather slow. <sighs> Having a hard time thinking of another one that would be good. That'd be sweet. It has to be colorless or white. I'm not splashing another color for this. Uh, I'm trying not to water down the scrying engine that gives me such card advantage by letting me run through my lands. Um, Can I play again? Oh, uh, if you want to, sure. Uh, yeah, let's get another one in for the lulls. Okay. Do you want to play this deck? Oh, no, I'll stick with this. Okay. I haven't actually played this before. This oh, is, uh, gotcha, gotcha. This is my brand new brew. Ooh. 
Oh, is this a different deck? Oh, no, no. Uh, before tonight. Gotcha, the, gotcha. Yeah. Alright. Okay, next time I have time to get a modern, we'll see. Um, I'll play this. If you have any suggestions, by the way, throw them in the comments. I am completely open to suggestions to fill the Karn slot. Karn just wasn't terribly impressive. You you mentioned em Emrakul. Emrakul, Kozilek. I think Kozilek might not be bad, um, actually. Uh, but yes, Emrakul, especially with Nykthos, Emrakul could be mm -hmm. good. Uh, but even without Emrakul, if I can stall the game until I get 15 lands, I should win anyway, and Emrakul sort of guarantees that. Plus, if I come across a deck that cares about, oh, there we go, about Mill, that might be important. Maybe. Okay, you got it. And I'll take the play. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I'll keep this. I'm going to make this the dirtiest, the dirtiest game of magic you ever heard. This yeah, I'll, I'll keep as well. You ready? Okay, you're good. Um. Godless shrine, pastor. Okay. Okay. Pass turn. Draw. And this is an unsideboarded game, by the way. I have unsideboarded. Reach it. Oh, good, good. Good nineteen. 17. I'm doing a split and the camera cannot see it. And play a scavenging ooze. Hi, Scooze. Good. Hey, buddy. You know, there is also a, a snow creature that might fit in this. It's. I don't remember its name. It's a white angel. It's a 4-5. I don't really care about the ability pretty much at all. It's like return target creature that died this turn to your hand by tapping it. Oh, it's flying yeah. vigilant 4-5. It's in Modern Masters. It's in mo yeah. Um, I don't really care about the ability, and it seems rather weak, but it is snow, so I can draw into it a little more easily. So that could be a win condition, but go and it's vulnerable to every removal spell. Whereas the cards in here don't really do that. Um, pass turn. Untap. Draw. Swing for two. Okie doke. Eighteen. Ring boss. <laughs> First blood, you. Reveal. Doran. Play Doran. Hi, Vision. Doran. That's a card. Ghostly Prison, pass turn. On tap. Hopefully I'll only get hit for five this turn. Land. And he's, he speaks too soon. Swing for seven. Yep, that's a thing. You have me at eleven. Good. Story circle on green. Okay. Pass turn. Untap. Draw. Brooke K story circle. In response, I'm going to hit Doran with it. Uh, from a source of your choice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll pay for scavenging ooze and hit you for two. Okay. You have me at nine. Pass turn. And this is the quick out of the gate start that I don't like. Oh, well, we're gonna play a sphere of safety, and pass the turn. Certainly help. You have to pay five to attack. Miss that land. It's in your hand. Nope. Okay. Well. Um, five. Swing for five. Yeah. We are well within 
double siege rhino range. Your turn. No. Oh. Pass turn. You're well without attacking range. Maelstrom pulse. Maelstrom pulse. I see a lot of lists only run like two or three spheres of safety. I don't like that at all. Yeah, I think it's really good. Mm -hmm. I think this is an aggro heavy knight anyway. Solid. Hey, there we go. Anyway. And I'll pass. So who's the guy over at Dragonstar that runs Laps of Certainty in his sideboard? It's like know. the white memory laps. Yeah, it's three mana. Mm. I don't know. I've never seen that. What deck is that? Uh, he runs this brew. It's like this Kithkin deck. It's like Kithkin Soldier. Runs counter. The that's the only counter spell that I remember having seen. I guess he could play Mana Tide, but um, unlike memory laps, it's off of Isochron Scepter. It's three mana instead of two. Big difference. Big difference. Hmm. Story circle mm -hmm. on green. Luminarity Ascension. Pastor. One tap. I wasn't playing this poorly most of my games at the PPTQ. Play a spell sky. Hi. Path be bad now. Throw down some lingering souls. Sounds good. Your turn. So, a question for you. Mm -hmm. At what point... So, what I, I just did is I started untapping, I untapped all my permanents, and before I reached for a draw, to draw a card, I went back to tapping them and set Ascension out. That's too late, right? In a competitive REL event, that's yeah. too late? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Technically. I mean, your opponent might forgive you. Let me not operate under the assumption. Marshall coup! <laughs> I mean... Karn targeting you? Exile Inquisition. Makes sense. Um, I put you right here, didn't I? You passed her. Yeah, Maelstrom Pulse will be pretty nice. Pretty nice. I think I only have one to my name. I do very much like having taken out the mouth of Ronum. Uh, Hi, Grave Titan. I don't think... and there are two more, yeah. Pass turn? Yep. I don't think that the Grave Titan... Uh, not the Grave Titan. The uh, <coughs> Mouth of Ronan does enough for me. Anything I want to do on upkeep here? I want to scry. I want to scry. I think I want to scry. Is there a reason you do it on upkeep? Before I draw, since I don't know the. Uh, so if I rem if I get a land, if I get a snow covered plains or a scrying sheets, then I've basically scryed one. I've filter the deck a little bit so that my next draw is more likely to be a live draw. Um, if I have plenty of lands, there's no question. I do it on upkeep anyway, if I don't know the identity of that card. Um, but with this many lands, this few lands, it's actually sort of questionable because if I reveal, or even if I pull a snow off, the next card might be something that I would need these lands for. Like a, yeah. like a Sphere of Safety or a Karn. I feel like it's better to just do it end of turn. Uh, 
I still could get the the extra draw out of it, the extra uh, filtering through my deck. Not filtering. It is just draw, just straight up draw. Uh, Karn is targeting. You have any cards in hand? Two. Uh, Karn's targeting you. Thrag Tusk. Okay. I am okay with this. Oh man. Struggle is real. Um, we're gonna pass the turn. Okay. And one reason I don't like Karn here is that even with Karn out now, I'm still I think I'm still in a better position just going off the Luminarch plan. Um, because this is actually winning the game and this is risking it. You could have a Broke Decay in there somewhere. And that could set me back, but then the next turn I just ult Karn. Okay. Okay, okay. No. And with five lands, I pretty much don't have to worry anymore. Hmm. Karn, target me. Last turn. It's 12 to attack with a creature. Waiting for that double siege rhino. Ah, uh, Tassigur. Murderous cut. Or murderous cut. I'm sorry, what are we cutting? Solemn just to draw? Yep. Okay. Makes, makes yeah. sense. So Got to dig for answers. Yeah, fair enough. Play Noble Hierarch. Pastor. Upkeep. Snow. See, I feel like if you did that end of turn, you'd have the same result, but you'd have more mana on your turn if you really needed it. You know? Let's see if this is. Karn targets you. Okay, yeah. Pass turn. Oh, there's one. Oh, oh. See, Don't do it. it. Okay. You made a one? Yep. Uh, pass turn. Make three, four, four angels. Okay. But I'm going to spoil something for you. I don't think I want to risk you top decking a siege rhino. Let's restart the game. Okay. Reasonable choice. You do have a Thrag Tusk and a Luminarch Ascension. Okay. I do, yeah. Go to 25. Does it enter the battlefield though? I actually never thought about that. Leaving an exile. Then put those cards onto the battlefield. Oh, okay. yeah. Put those cards. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Alright. Judge! <laughs> You start the game with it on the battlefield or something, but it says that makes it pretty yeah, clear. Put cards, yeah. 
Mm. I guess if we want to be extra safe, we check the Oracle rulings on Gather, but yeah, that seems pretty it clear seems to me. right. You're right. Okay. Well, we're both that one card more likely to draw lands. Woot. Whatever little difference that makes. All right. So, does that mean I go first? Because I won the die roll? It, yeah, it's the same person who went first when the, the game began. So, yeah, so. You, did you? Or you've already chosen, I should say. Mm -hmm. I'll keep. Yeah. All right, I'll concede. <laughs> okay. I thought there's a chance, but I don't think I can beat Leyland like land like this. Yeah, so two land, Nick Fleece, Path. So I just, I had something every turn. Path, hold up Path first turn, Nick's Fleece, Ghostly, and then we start making dudes. Seems good. It's something anyway, yeah. As long as they don't forget my triggers. Yeah. But you would not have top deck Siege Rhino there? No, it was a Breath Decay. That's still not bad. That, uh... It was, it was more time. Yeah, you're right. <sighs> Actually, I already would have had three four four angels, and then in response to the abrupt decay, I make more angels. So, I'm not sure if that actually would have been enough. Like if you abrupted the uh, luminarch ascension to stem the bleeding, but that's that's still too late. All right, so we're going to sideboards. Yeah. All right. One two. Buckle my shoe. And now I have the uh, Robot Unicorn Attack song stuck in my head. Just from looking at the sleeves. Could you sing it to me? Always I want to be with you And make believe with you And live in harmony, harmony, all love. Sing it to all of you. Serenade, senoritas. Ah, good times. I don't know if I need more mana dorks, or if I'm just not drawing them. Put in six. Six. Four nobles, two are birds? Mm hmm. Okay. But my old pod list, I was running seven, and that seemed pretty consistent. Woo! But, well, you know that's in there. I mean, how much what? How much difference would one make? I mean, we can actually run the numbers and find out. Well, you know that's in there. It's the same card. You know, while we're between games, want to make some tea? I'll make some tea. Let me go make some oh, tea. Oh yeah, forget about tea. It's all good. How is she? So quiet. Don't jinx it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's true. What did I just do? What have I done? Set this up here for right now. Get it out of the shop while we don't need it. And you've already cut mine? Um, I don't know. Just in case, why not? A deck with lots of triggers. Exactly what you want to be playing on St. Patrick's Day after celebrating St. Patrick's Day. That's exactly the deck you want to be playing. Oh, this one would be really good. If it only had one more land. Mm. Wow. Hmm. I don't dislike my odds. Great. I think I keep here.
Improv. <laughs> Karaoke. Whatever we're doing here. Scat. Scat. And we still have yet to do our special that we were on about. You remember that? The, uh, mail call- no. The try to figure oh, out yeah. what I'm building based on the mail that I'm receiving uh, segment. We still haven't done that yet. But we're, we're going to do that. It's exciting stuff, people. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And there you are. So exciting as me taking forever to shuffle. Four, I'm gonna get five, six. It's gonna take so long. Hey, this hand's not bad. Aww. Baby's as cute as ever. All right. You'll just, you've kept? Uh-huh. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Turn one noble. Your turn. All right. Noble. I believe you. Pass turn. That may not have been correct. Same one. Um. Careful, you might want to pass that. Swamp. Excuse. Okay. So, in a playtesting game that did not get on camera, <coughs> oh, yes, I finally, finally fulfilled my lifelong dream of killing with Noble Hierarch in Modern in an Infect deck. <laughs> I've done it in Legacy several times. I had never done it in modern before. Pester. And yeah. got him to Exaxes. Uh, it was a double noble hierarch, granted, but... Rope decay? Yeah. I'd like to think that was, that had something to do with it. Um, exile, swing for four. Whee! Alright, I'll turn it this way to show. Fifteen. And, uh, Marsh Flats. Okay. Take three. Taking three. Another noble, a bird. A bird. A bird. Hi, birds. Pass turn? Yep. I said, Nyx, please, Ryan. Pass turn. Maybe a little bit too much shuffling for casual. I'm sorry. That's good. Competitive Head casual. Swing for four. Lock? Yep. yep. Okay. Take two. Mm -hmm. Aha! Oh, great Titan. Zambies. Okay. The Zambies be getting. I'll get the ones that look the same. Gotcha. Here's your turn. Move to my upkeep. Go to 16. S apparently. Draw a card. Hmm. Tough choice, tough choice. Oops. Again, sorry, too much shuffling for this format. Do you like tutor? Mm -hmm. Why use sorcery speed? Huh. Why 
you no instant. Comes to hand, Pastor. Thank you. Swing with the powered attackers. Boink. Anything else? Nope. Going to 12? Yeah, 12. Okay. Good. Upkeep. Go to 13. Draw that card. Wall of Omens. Draw that card. Next place ram. Pass that turn. Swing for one. Not much I can do about that. Put me to twelve? Yeah. Next turn? Go ahead. Upkeep, go to fourteen. Draw. Story circle. Green. Pass turn. And draw. Swing one. White. Uh, negate the damage that birds would deal. Sure. Um, let go. Go to 16, draw, Luminarity Ascension. Last turn. Uh oh. Play Doran. Hi, Doran. And I'll. Sure, I'll take. Take one. Go to fifteen. Uh, two. Because, uh, use two toughness. Good. Fourteen. My bad. Good. Scry end of turn. It's snow. Add it to hand. Upkeep. Go to back to sixteen. Draw that card. Sphere. Everybody's favorite card. Pass turn. Untap. Yes, I know. Yes, oh. I know. I know. Well, actually, it didn't matter that last turn anyway. But still, there's my reminder now. Okay. Anyway, you're good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm hmm. Wall does not count. Play sword. Hi, sword. And I'll equip it to this here. Bird. What has magic come to? Cobblade again, apparently. Yeah. We're doing cobblade. Sort of. It's green cobblade now. Is that good? Um, yeah, I'll pass. Oh, it's a paradise and drum tokens? The zombies. Zombies. The zombies. I'm blind. Zambonies.
story circle on just in case black pass turn actually hide your hands and get the tea oh, sorry I'm running into you my bad End of turn. Play Nature's Claim on the star circle that named Ruby. Oh, 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 that made it better. Okay. Okay. Play Nature's Claim on the green story circle. Okay. So the one on your right is yours. Okay. <laughs> the one on the left is mine. I'm actually going to wash my... I'm going to put my thumbs under cold water. Is that that oh, was pretty hot. Just to be on the safe side, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. That's a thing. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I knew they were hot, but I thought... You okay? Yeah. I thought I'd have time to get them over the mat, or to the island, the table. Not so. Not so. Alright. So I, I gained four life. And you said that was all end of turn? Mm-hmm. We're just going to say that's the green one. Sure. Okay, on tap. 22. It's 22, not 2. Oh, and by the way, that's... Uh, oh, my end of turn. Okay. Cool. So 6? Yeah, still 6. Pay 6. Mm-hmm. Swing. 9! Path. Okay. 15, go to 13. Yeah, in this matchup, until it hits zero, it probably doesn't matter. Temple Garden. Sure. And we'll equip to Doran. Hi, Doran. And we'll equip to Scout to use. Hi, Scoos. Good. Scry? Draw? Hmm. Actually, it hurts quite a lot. Yeah. St Stupid first degree burns. First is the mild one, right? First degree, third degree is the one you have to worry about? Okay. Yeah, first. Pass turn. On tap. I missed a trigger. Draw. I missed two triggers. I'm distracted. Killing myself over here. Okay, seven. Attack. I'm seeing more creatures in the graveyards. Nine, nine. Hmm. I'll block with the wall of omens, which okay. dies. Um, land go. Go to 24, draw a card.
Luminarch Ascension. Mm -hmm. Last turn. We'll get the... Overburn 2. Okay. You know how the effect of Sword of War and Peace sucks, but the protection that it gives are the two colors you care about most, usually? Yeah. Um, or at least in modern. Well, in Legacy, you have swords instead of path. Um, I just got to thinking about that. Sword of Fire and Ice. The one time you want to be, uh, Sword of War and Peace. Yeah. One tap. Draw. Protection from my deck. Eight. Eight to attack. Swing. <clears throat> Maybe something I should have done last time. Double block. Kill the Scoose. Alright, I'll... Uh, Yeah, definitely something I should have done last time. Um, I'll equip here. And pass. Four. Make a couple angels. Um, mm. I have actual angel tokens. And by actual, I mean drawn for me, so they don't actually qualify as a fit. You know no, what That's I mean. end of turn? This is all at end of turn. Alright, I'm dead here, I think. Okay. <sighs> Sweet duck. I, it's a brew of mine that's actually doing something. That much I like. Now granted, it was meant to do something against Absin. And also granted, you don't have a uh, Liliana, but, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm not as worried about Tarmogoyf has a lot of decks. Liliana gives me trouble. Tarmogoyf and Liliana, that's a thing. Um, but once I get established enough, even Liliana shouldn't be shouldn't be enough to do me in. Uh, the Edict is, or not the Edict, the uh, Ult is really all about which I'm worried. Um, so Liliana and Maelstrom Pulse to hit Leyline of Sanctity. And that might be enough. Oh, indeed. Okay, so the sideboard that game was a little different. Than, because yeah, I told you about what happened last time. Yeah, I left in Luminarch Ascension. I took out two Karns, put in two Idyllic Tutors. And that's really all that happened. Um, you already knew about that game plan. But this is a, an attempt at trying out the other another game plan, not the other, another game plan, mm -hmm. and see if it would work. And in this particular case, it did. Uh, it makes me more vulnerable to Abrupt Decay, but that's not a great card against me anyway. But you have, I think you have to keep Abrupt Decay in, don't you? To hit my, uh, my creatures and yeah, to hit, hit my walls prisons. walls and ghost prisons. Yeah. Stories it, I just don't have much that's good in the matchup, so... Fair Anything enough. that does something. It's better than Lingering Souls. I agree, 100%. Uh, this Although is also it's supposed to have... decent against Story Circle. They can carry yeah. a sword. This deck is also supposed to have a pretty good match against tokens, because... Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, spheres and prisons. For obvious reasons. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The I original guess... tokens hate, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. A little less good is a Story Circle, but I think I keep it in. I have to spend more mana to hit more targets, mm -hmm. but I think it's still okay. It's just a stall, essentially. That card is just a stalling tactic. And plus, I think tokens, you run white tokens, you run black tokens, if you're running the usual build, uh, or Stanislav Sifka's build. Um, what, uh, Bitter Blossom tokens? The Bitter Blossom tokens deck, yeah. I have seen one guy at Dragonstar. I didn't get him on camera, sadly. 
he ran a uh, Boros Tokens deck. Uh, Pyromancer mm. was part of the engine instead of like Bitter Blossom, for instance. Did it run Lingering Souls? It did. It ran. Well, I guess it was uh, it was Mardu, but very very little, very low on the black. I think it might have just been Flashback Lingering Souls. I don't remember having seen anything else that used black. It may have been a sideboard card here or there. A Rakdos Charm. All three modes are good in modern, or at least they're usable. Uh, destroy target Splinter Twin deck, destroy an artifact, or destroy target Living End deck. All seem like good modes. Yeah, I feel like they designed it to be uh, like the hate card for modern in those colors. Rakdos Charm, yeah. I, I can see that. Uh, poor Rakdos doesn't usually get a lot of good removal, so... I, I say good removal, what I mean is versatile removal. You can kill creatures and that tends to be it, and this one does burn, artifact destruction, and graveyard hate. Um, that's pretty versatile. Obviously they get lots of good removal, but just, just for creatures. Your bolts, your doom blades, that sure, sort of yeah. thing. Terminate. Oh yeah, terminate. Let's go into both colors for that. Um, but neither color has enchantment hate, for instance, and so to compensate, let's give them some versatility in a two mana spell. Fun fact: if you go into Legacy, black has enchantment hate. It's called Gate to Phyrexia. What's that do? It's something like like sacrifice a permanent, destroy an enchantment. I don't know. It's it sacrifice something and destroy. Yeah. In modern, there is a black creature that destroys enchantments, but the ability is green, so it doesn't really count, I think. Mm. Yeah. Just strict Might enforcement. Well claim, nature's claim. There you go. You're not Rex kidding. Or whatever. I mean, worse than Elvish Hex Hunter, in my estimation. It also has a tap green destroy target enchantment, but it's an elf. So it's a more relevant creature type, and it's green-white, like hybrid, so... And it's the same drop, they're both one drops. Well, anyway, that was fun. Um, yeah. Mail time? Yeah, you wanna do mail? Mail time! That was Blue's Clues, right? I don't know, I never watched that show. Yeah. Obviously it's been years. Ay ay ay. Let's get this all cleaned up. Ready to go? I'm actually going to turn the camera up for this one. Let everyone see our beautiful faces. A little higher. A little higher. Get over that. Yeah. Aha! There we are. Alright. I'm going to flip the screen around so we can see ourselves. Put the T. Give me that playmat. Oh, uh, could you fold the playmat up, please? Sure. I meant to say. All right, my friend. Yeah, it's still on. Come around here. Come around here. You can see yourself. Wow. Let's. Uh, you are How really. You are really nice to me, my friend. Let's make you a little bit taller, though. All right. You can stand up. Sure. <laughs> we may have to scooch back. Never mind. This, this works. Okay. Okay. This is fine. This is good. And now. Time to open some... yeah, let me not show that. Time to open some mail. Uh, okay, so your, your job is try to guess at least one deck, because there may be cards from multiple decks in here. Okay. At least one deck that I'm building. Get a general idea of it, based on what you see. Alright? So let's do this. Opening envelopes from the side like this. Alright. Package number one. Contains... Army of the Damned, some number, tape, lots of tape. Okay, so, contains three Army of the Damned, freed from the real, one, one of them, four drift of phantasms. Well, obviously those go in the same deck. <laughs> Alright, next one. Next one. So I'm thinking some kind of mana acceleration deck. Alright, let's see. Get 
open, damn it. Or the whole envelope just breaks, but you know what, that's fine. Alright, so in this one we have, we could just look, okay, so it's 10 snow covered swamps. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Good luck figuring that one out, just based yeah. on being swamps. I've not seen any of those cards in any deck that I know. Okay, so... This one. You know what? I'll get that later. It's fine. I'll just throw it off to the side. I'll pick it up. Like, seriously, right after this. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? This is a brick! No. How do I... Those cards are really secure. Yeah, you're not kidding. What the hell is in this? That they don't use a bubble wrap envelope, but they are putting it through all of this. What is going on? Okay. <sighs> wow. Alright, we're good. It's it's good now. It's good. It contains a forest, <laughs> a mountain, and a monastery Swiss beer. I had to go through all that for a monastery Swiss beer and two basic lands from Faber Forged. Okay, I'm gonna give you a hint. The lands, I didn't order those, they just gave me they're complimentary. So, Alright. So Moving on, moving on. Yeah, I don't want you to get thrown off by that. Any, if any time something complimentary comes up, I'll let you know. So this one contains... So the Swift Spear is in the same deck as those other cards? I'm not saying they're in the same deck, okay. actually. Yeah, that's part of the challenge. Alright, I'm guessing they're not. <laughs> Snow-covered swamps, monastery Swift Spear. Probably not. This one contains a Life from the Loam. Life from the loam. Well, this doesn't give him any information on cards that I already have. Just cards I'm getting right now. This one contains a single Mistvale Plains. Okay. Some kind of dredge deck. You get a lot of mana. Flashback Army of the Damned. more than two cards in here. Let me check. It may be three. I think it's three without opening it. Three Endless Horizons, all of which are Chinese. What, did that, what does that card do? Endless Horizon is a four drop uh, enchantment. When it enters the battlefield, exile as many planes as you'd like from your deck. During each of your upkeeps, put a planes <coughs> from this exile into your hand. So if they, if oh, you cool. have a deck of all planes and they hit your Endless Horizons, you just lost all your lands. But if they don't do that, if they don't destroy it, you get one planes and one other card draw every turn. And there's some other interesting combo applications to that, of course. So there are only course. two decks here? No, no, no. I'm not saying how many decks there are. Okay. You just try to guess as many as you can based on this. Another Life from the Lawn. Just making a mess over. Big, big envelope. Let me not show you anyone's address, mine especially. Let me not do that. This one contains... <clears throat> four Rhymebound Dead. It's the one drop snow regenerating skeleton. 20 snow-covered swamps, 3 bump in the night, 1 monastery swift spear, 2 free from the reel. Okay, it's coming together a little bit. I'm guessing you already have your snow-covered mountains. I know you have some. 
A freed from the real. So that makes four. Alright, so for some of these we have more information than others, admittedly. And then lastly, let's get some real hints here. Two more life Two more life bombs. Okay, now there's there are a couple cards in here or in that I ordered that you did not see. Well, yeah, there are four them, yeah. cards. Uh, they're, they've already come in, and I opened them before I had this idea. So I'm going to give you the last four cards. Okay. Four Goblin Charbelcher. Well, there you go. Okay, so, to what you know, you see this stack, and four Goblin Charbelcher. See if you can guess as many decks as you can from the cards that you have there. Well... Goblin Charbelcher plus this card. In this horizon, Goblin Charbelcher. Yes, remove all the lands in your deck, and then Charbelcher them. Exactly. So that's one deck. Good job. Good this job. is a plane, so it, it probably is. goes in yes. that deck. Mistvale planes for the the long game. Um. So that was that was perfect. How many swamps? Thirty snow-covered swamps. Thirty. Wow. Yeah. So these probably go, I mean, I don't, if I have to make the assumption you're playing 30 snow-covered swamps, then you're probably playing even more lands than that. Hard to say whether or not. And I'm guessing that this this goes in there. Yeah. The obviously, <laughs> the Rhymebound Dead goes with the Snow Covered Swamps. Obviously. Got the snow ability. Snow many swamps. Yeah. I'm gonna put Life from the Loam and Army of the Dam together. Okay. Hmm. And then I'm gonna put these together. Because I think there's probably some crazy prowess combo you can make with Free from the Real. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to group these cards together. And I'm not ruling out that these go together. All right. So his final answers, uh, Mistvale Plains, Endless Horizons, Goblin Charbelcher. That's correct. Rhymebound Dead and 30 Snow-Covered Swamps. <laughs> That's also correct. Army of the Dam, Life from the Loam. That's correct. The one thing, so the Monastery Swift Spears are actually kind of throwing you off a little bit here. Those are for a completely separate, those are for a burn deck that's okay. being built on the side. Freed from the Real and Drift of Phantasms are together. They actually are. The reason is because of an infinite combo you can use with Axbang Guardian, Enchanted with free, Freed from the Real, and any one other defender. You make infinite mana, of any colors you so choose. What you do is you pay, you tap it, make blue blue, use blue to untap it, tap yeah. it, da 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 da, you know, do it as many times as you want. Uh, Drift of Phantasms goes and transmutes into both x Guardian and Freed from the Real to go and find you the combo. And it is a defender. It is a defender, it's yes solved. indeed. So, and it's a flying defender, a zero five. Aha! May come in handy. Uh, so yeah, you Almost a hundred. I give you almost a one hundred on that. Um, I'm sure if I looked, I could try to find some combo with Swiss Spear, just prowess in general, and uh, freed from the real. I'm pretty sure. So Army of the Damned and Life from the Loam are going into a deck that basically it's a dredge deck. You just dump your hand into the graveyard. Uh, you'll hit your land drops by continuing to find Life from the Loam, dredging it back. 
Crypt of Agadame is our ramp card. What's that? It taps, you have to pay two and tap it, but if you do so and it does come in tapped... It's a land. It's a land, yes. Oh, sorry. It is a land. Uh, it either taps for black or tap two and itself to generate black for every black creature in your grave. Hmm. So you're playing a bunch of black creatures in your dredge deck, dump them into your grave in, from your hand or deck into your graveyard, and then Crypt of Agadim, flashback Army of the Damned, and Spider Spawning. And not to the bone if you okay. want to buy some time. Yeah. Um, and there you go, that's pretty much it. Sweet. It's going to be a gen deck when it's all taken care of. Uh, because we want to be able to play uh, Desperate Wager and Faithless Looting in this. And our sack outlets are Faithless Looting, I say sack outlets, getting from our hand to our graveyard. Faithless Looting, Desperate Wager, and Lotleth Troll, which serves as an alternate win con if we need to. I have to find some way to win through Rest in Peace. We yeah. gotta try anyway. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's this deck. Some number of Army of the Dam, probably four some number of spiders spawning, and a couple not of the bone, a couple more in the sideboard to fight against burn. Sweet. Uh, yeah, so that's that. Uh, this, <laughs> all of these swamps, what am I going to do with all of these swamps? They're going into a mono black enchantment deck. You have four Rhinebound Dead and four Will of the Wisp. They're just there to stall until mm -hmm. you can hit your bigger drops. And you're cursing your opponent, playing Doomwake Giant, and hopefully, hopefully, killing them with something like, if not the curses, uh, like Skittles, for instance, could be a win condition, or Grizzlebrand, or... I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Army of the Damned. Army of the Damned. I mean, I guess you could do that. It's a little slow, but, uh, and they do come in tapped. That's one disadvantage to playing Army. You get 26 power! That can't block for you that turn. Yeah. But but the deck can kill turn five. It's slow, so in order to actually be competitive, we need to start playing hand attack in the deck. Mm -hmm. So it's going to run Thoughtseize and or Inquisition uh, to fight against faster combo decks like Twin and Ad Nauseam. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Just I'm not even sure if the deck wants Golgari Grave Troll. It's a lot of dredge, but it's not a green <coughs> creature. I mean, it's not a black creature for Crypto Agadame. Yeah. And it does want Street Wraith. Uh, give it another instance of Dredgen, sure. perhaps, yeah. and it's a black creature. Seems good. That's something, anyway. Well, uh, yeah, that's that's all of them here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, these decks will be played at some uh, in some week coming forth. Uh, except the Monastery Swiss Beer. That'll go into Bree's deck, and if she comes up on camera, you'll see her. She has a Rakdos Burn deck that is going to be running Swiss Spear and Bob, and uh, Goblin Guide and Pyromancer? I think she's wanting to do Pyromancer in that slot. Uh, we don't have four Goblin Guide. We only have the one, and it's, what, 20 bucks now? So yeah. I'm not able to afford them right now. But we have Pyromancers, we have a Grim Lava Mancer, surely to goodness we have more than one. Yeah. Hmm. Well, thank you, my friend. Thank you. Yep. Can't wait to see the new brews. Mm -hmm. Speaking of brews, next time you come over, actual drunk magic. We gotta be on an even playing field here, my friend. <laughs> well, all right. Next St. Patrick's Day, I'm taking sure. I'm taking you down and making sure you have a little bit to drink before we do this again. Now I had some drinks. I believe you. I believe you. All right. Take care. Too lazy to go over and reach out. Ah, let me just go and get it. Oh, yeah, my knee is still a little messed up, but it's okay. In case you were wondering, all two of you watching this. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Bonus time. Do, 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 Oh, cute, so cute. Oh my god, so cute. Alright.
that's it. Now I'm actually done. So really quickly before we begin the tournament, uh, because apparently it starts in like five minutes, unfortunately they're not allowing me to record my matches. I wish they would, and if I do anything casual afterwards, then they'll let me record that. But they won't let me record matches right now, and apparently the worry is that if they let me record matches, then they're available to everyone, and if they're available, then they need to let top 8 see deck lists so that everyone's on an even playing field, yada yada yada. So unfortunately I'm not allowed to. Uh, but I'll give you these, I'll give you reports in between matches, just, uh, just to keep you up to speed. And hopefully I'll get something in for you, if nothing else. Uh, oh. Round one over, uh, opponent was Robots, Affinity, Tin Man, Metal Band, whatever we're calling it. Well, it used to be called Affinity, then people started calling it Robots, then I realized that it was just a label that didn't really change the inherent character of the deck, and that I could call it whatever I wanted, and I didn't need to be held down by arbitrary standards. Oh, I'm just gonna go with Affinity. Alright, it's a loading ready ride. Um, so game one, he beat a resolved Ghostly Prison and Sphere of Safety by flooding. You said 17 lands? 17 lands in the deck, I drew 8. Yeah, and... Or 7 plus 11. Yeah, the, that's right, I was about to... <sighs> and so he paid the 7 to keep swinging with an edge champion, with a couple arcbound counters, I guess? That's... Yeah, it was a 4-4. Four four. <laughs> <laughs> and then game 2, and then the casual game afterwards was just... I have land, land issues, that's all. Um, game 2 was not having a but one land. Three stories, stony silence in hand. Couldn't get there. And then... And then you got it. Yeah. And you're on a roll. Yeah. Hopefully make it, make it all the way to the finals. Something like that. Yeah. Well, good start anyway. All right. And then, how'd you do, man? Uh, triple path, snap path. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't fun. I guess there's not much you can do about oh, about that. Yeah. All right. Um, that's round one. Maybe. Hopefully, we'll do a little better going forward. Uh, see you later. Oh, now you can't see my face. Now you can. Ah! All right, well, uh, down again. Not not so hot at all with this particular deck. Um, it was against a uh, junk... It was the, the Abzan deck. Although this guy didn't have very much white at all. I didn't see any Siege Rhinos, thankfully. Uh, the only white card I saw the whole time was Lingering Souls, and I saw one path to exile. Um, what I'm worried about in that match. I'm a little worried about Abrupt Decay. If I make it to the late game, it's not as much of an issue. But, <laughs> Maelstrom Pulse and Liliana of the Veil. Game 1, there wasn't much I could do about it. Game 2, I misplayed. Uh, I found an Idyllic Tutor, and I went for the wrong card. He didn't have a Liliana, and I went for Leyline of Sanctity. Uh, when I should have gone for Nevermore to name Liliana. And then Liliana took over that game, and I lost. Uh, even just the discard was enough, uh, because he ca he removed a ghostly prison and a sphere with Liliana's discard. And with the sphere that I had on the field, that would have just kept him from attacking for the game. So, I need more experience with the deck. Maybe that's it. Uh, maybe it's also a bit of luck, but that's never an excuse you should use in the long term. Alright, YouTube, I will see you later. Take care. And no, my opponent is not out here to, uh... Talk to me about it. We didn't have a lot of time left, actually. I need to get back in. Ooh. It has been a while since I've spoken to you. There's actually been a one... Uh, so this is after round four. Went up against two merfolk decks, both 2 one to me. Uh, <laughs> uh, the first game against the second one, since I I'm fresh on that one, was Mainboard Echoing Truth got me. Mainboard Echoing Truth on Sphere of Safety Swing for the win. Yeah, that's a thing. So I brought in Nevermore to name Echoing Truth. Got him one game, and then just Spell Pierce. Not Remand, what's the, uh... He had another counter spell in there. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank. Deprive, that's it, Deprive. There we go. In a Merfolk list. And then the first guy, just classic Merfolk, he sat behind the wall. Uh, but then, oh, so, oh my goodness, the most epic thing you have ever seen, except you didn't. I'm sorry, I wish I'd gotten this. I wish they'd allowed me to get this on camera. Uh, Karn restart game three, and then he restart with a Luminarch Ascension and a Plains on my side. And I kept a hand with no land but Path Path. Guess what I didn't draw for the rest of the game. Oh, Spreading Seas the Plains, by the way. Spreading Seas the Plains, that's important. So I was left on colorless. Oh. 
Oh well, it's, what can you do? Anyway, I'll see you later, YouTube. Alright, so going back just a little bit, this was my round three, round three opponent. Uh, the vapor snag for the kill guy. Yeah, got me down to one. turn two, totally vapor snagged him when he was at one. Yeah, I, th I thought he was kidding. He's mentioned vapor stag. I'm like, no, no, he cited that out. There's no way. There's no way he has va vapor stag for the win. Vapor snag indeed. Just at yeah. the last second, boom. And if even if I had known, the only thing I can do there is just wait for Karn and sit behind Karn, restart the game. And that's really all I can do at that. Didn't point. really work on turn three though no, either. No, it didn't. No, it we didn't. were in, we were in a haste, but that oh, Karn God. totally killed you. You had Reset the game. Reset the game. Spreading seizure land. Yep. Done. All right. And <laughs> my down. my red deck wins opponent. Uh, there you are. Uh, you're running a, a brew of red deck wins with a lot of hasty creatures yes. that managed to kill me game two with the most ingenious way that I've seen a, a turn two kill. A, or not turn two. How was that? You want to tell them more? I was sitting there waiting to, for you to wipe me out, and then you went and activated everything, which tapped oh, yeah, you out. Yeah. So that's important. I had a story circle on red. Basically, circle protection red. So as long as I hold up mana, he can't do anything, but... <laughs> Tapped out, so I'm sitting there with a Eight madcap, two. madcap yep. on a 2-2 two, two Slith, Slith, Slith Firewalker, yeah. Firewalker. So it's an 8-2. And I gave it plus 3, plus 3 with the uh, Red Giant Growth. Yep. And then flung it at him for 11, and then Lightning Bolted <laughs> for the win. And then I just sat there in amazement, like, what just happened? <laughs> so great job with that, my friend. Yep. Um, good games. But he, it is actually, I think, my best match against Red Deck Wins, so all the sphere effects, st circles in the main, another circle from the side, blind obedience, uh, life gain off Nyx Flea, Swall of Omens, there's not much that can be done about that, so you did what you could, Yeah. fighting an uphill battle, and can I get you on? Oh yeah! Why not? Yeah, Why the it. heck not? Yeah. So you, you came up to me saying, hey look, you're doing this now, right? Yeah. That just, okay, so, pfft, that's when it gets real, when you actually, when people come to you on YouTube, from YouTube, and they're like, hey, I know who you are, that's, okay, okay, so, simultaneously, I'm like, oh my goodness, this is the most amazing thing, and oh my goodness, this is the most amazing thing! <laughs> that's probably how we felt, too, me and my buddy <laughs> felt that way, it was pretty crazy, because we never thought we'd meet someone like this, you know? And, and then, and then you do. <laughs> Oh, I was gonna. No, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. What's up? I was gonna ask if I could get a picture and uh, put it on my Instagram. Uh, okay, you here's how we do it. No, we'll get an actual picture too. Okay, a right. little bit of a height difference. It doesn't help that I'm teeny tiny bit crippled right now. Just a little bit. Walking around with a crutch. Uh, yeah, parkour accident. I'll see you later, you two. Bye bye. So there's the missus. Say hi. All right. Uh, did not do very well. Uh, the last two were wins, thankfully. So I ended three four. But when you lose your first four, that doesn't mean very much. Uh, second to last round was against an Esper control list that just didn't have enough counter spells when he needed, I guess. Uh, never even saw Karn. He lost to Luminarch Ascension the first game, and he lost to Heliod, praise the sun, the second game, who I intentionally made sure was not on enough devotion to be a creature. Ooh, because Path to Exile is a thing in that deck. Uh, I don't know if he kept it in, actually. Uh, he might have just to get, I don't know. It was a Geist list, so in game one, he did path his own angels for lands. Maybe he'd do something like that. Um, and our two games went 45 minutes long. Uh, my last round was against Living End, which game one was quick and easy. Game two, when I sided in eight cards, uh, rest in peace came too slow, came one turn too late. So she did get a few creatures out, and after that point, she just start, had to start hard casting them. Circle of protection, well, story circles on black and red. And what are we doing? I'm looking for your phone. Oh, my phone's up here. Do you need it? Yeah, mine's okay. at 6%. Mine's probably not much better. <laughs> Sorry for interrupting. And, yeah, I can cut that out, maybe. Maybe, I don't know, just a little a moment of cuteness, right? <laughs> Mwah. 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 Um, and my hate on the board at the end was rest in peace, rule of law, nevermore, rule of law. <laughs> Lots of uh, sphere of safety, story circle on red, story circle on black. Oh, it was mean. It was mean. And finally killed with Heliod and a bunch of tokens. That'll do it.
So anyway, I'll be seeing you later. Take care, YouTube. Bye bye. Just the button. I'm having a hard time hitting the button with my pinky. Yeah.